Okay, yeah, hello again. Right, so in this uh, video what we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a couple of functions and then finish off the creating of uh, our character and putting all the information into the database. So here I have a functions.php file uh, obviously we'll open and close PHP tags. Um, the first function I'm going to do is connect. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to do db connect. Uh, this function is best put on a separate file altogether. Um, I'm putting it in this file to save space more than it, uh, to save time more than anything uh, right so the first thing we want to do is because we're going to be c uh, connecting to a database we want to declare a couple of variables the first one is database host uh, database username data database password and the database name itself for the host we'll uh, use localhost uh, for the user we'll do the standard logging in uh, Credentials of uh, the root with no password, and our database name is white label. Now I use uh, MySQLi with objects. Um, it's basically the the object version of the MySQLi uh, connection function. So, uh, to set this up, we need to declare a new a new uh, instance of the MySQLi class, and in here we need to. set a few parameters so the database host database user database pass and the database name and we want to return Yeah, return, return this. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put it in a function at all. I remove this from its function, and this will initialize when uh, we call the function functions file. So, on here we want to require. It was in the includes folder functions.php. This will allow us to uh, access MySQL. So back to when uh, with the is set uh, the post uh, variable of create. We don't need to run any checks. Uh, really because of the basic informa information we're putting in here. <laughs> One thing I will add on here though is a brief description with the stats. Um, put this in a h3 tag 
remember I'm not trying to make this uh, game look pretty at all. I might spend a bit more time on the other pages, but just for this relief, leave this as it is. So we need a uh, class. What we'll also do is we'll put class here so they know what they're selecting. Okay, human. We'll use HP of fifty. Give them a strength of ten and defense of ten. With the orc, <coughs> we want to give them HP of let's say thirty and a strength of let's say fifteen. Defense of fifteen. So, as you can see, in regards to strength of defense, the orc is better than the human, but uh, it lacks in HP. The elf. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video and just fill in the. Uh, the last two. Okay, so um, I filled in the elf and the tree man, and here's what our page looks like. So they can select a class they want, and when we go to create the character, we will put the relevant information inside the database. So. First thing we want to do is we want to get the class, and we named this simply class. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we use a switch statement on class. This will uh, we can now use the switch in case operators, uh, the, the case operators to determine which uh, class and then set the the stats according to whichever class they've picked. So if we put case is human uh, and obviously we have capitals And we'll just break that off there. So we want HP to oops equal fifty. Strength to equal ten and defense to equal ten. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish these off. Uh, back in a second. Okay, so I've finished filling them in. So now we declare the, uh, the variables, the HP, strength, and defense. It's now ready to be put into our database. So what we need to do is uh, set up a query, insert into. And we want to insert this into players. And then set uh, user ID. I think there's one of them. So user ID, user class, HP strength defense.
So, user ID, we want to be this. Oh. The session user ID. And don't forget the comma at the end there. The user class we only need to make as class, as this has already been set. Again, with the other ones. For these, we don't actually need the commas, the uh, quotes, because they're only integer values. So, we want HP, and we want strength, and we want defense, oopsie, defense, and we want to just reload there. So we've set up our query, we're inserting into the players and setting user ID to the session ID, uh, session user ID, etc. Right. So now we've uh, set the query, we want to connect query or die. So this will uh, insert that query into MySQLi and it should then insert into that database all of these uh, specific session, uh, specific variables. So. Uh, do this. Okay, so that's all we really need for the create character page. So we'll save that. We'll just uh, echo out character created and then exit the script. So now if we just go back to here, come back to here, right, so we want to be an elf, it has pretty high defense but low strength and defense. So we'll say create character and it says character created. Now if we go back over to our database, go to the players, we have user ID of 1, a user class elf, user HP 70, user strength and user defense, all set. So we know that's working fine. Now what we need to do is we need to create a little function <coughs> and what this does, what this function will do is check to see whether our user ID is in the database. I will continue with this function on the next video. And turn on. I'll see you soon.